Hello everyone, let us begin with tutorial number 15, floating point format representation. First problem, explain the floating point general format and hence represent the following decimal numbers in floating point format. First one, A, 0.15607625, B, minus 25.267873. Hello. Let us start with the tutorial number 15 wherein in the first problem we need to give the floating point format uh, as well as we need to represent two numbers in the floating point number representation form and the floating point uh, number representation is always given by the number x is given as m x into 2 to the power e that means we have two parts this is called as mantissa part and this is called as exponent part as we know that it has two parts it can be divided into two parts and here the first four bits they represent the exponent part this is 4 bit exponent part it is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 then we have a mantissa part it ranges from 2 to the power 0 2 to the power minus 1 2 to the power minus 2, 2 to the power minus 3, so on. The last one will be 2 to the power minus 11. So this is your mantissa part. And you know that this is 4 bit. This is 12 bit. The 12 bit mantissa has the limits from minus 1 to plus 1. So let us try to represent the number given in the floating point format. The first number what they have given is 0 0.15607625. This can be represented as exponent and the mantissa part. Let me represent this point 1560.7625 as point 0.624305 into 2 to the power minus 2. You can even convert it into 2 to the power minus 3, 2 to the power minus 4. It is up to your discretion. Now, 2 can be represented as 0, 0, 1, 0. For minus 2, we have to take 1's complement first. Then convert it into 2's complement by adding 1 to it. So I have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. This is your exponent part that is the first 4 bits in the floating point format. Now let us convert the mantissa part 0 0.624305 into Q11 format. So let me multiply this number by 2. I get this as 1.24921. So my it is greater than 1. So MSB is 1. Subtract 1 from this 1.24921. So we get this as 0 0.24921. 
when I multiply this by 2, I get 0 0.49842. Since it is less than 1, so I can represent it as 0. So, 0 0.49842 multiplied by 2, I get this as 0 0.99684. This is less than 1, so it is 0. Then I have 0 0.99684. When I multiply it by 2, I get this as 1.99368. Since it is greater than 1, I have 1. Subtract 1 from this, I get this as 0 0.99368. Multiplying by 2, I get this as 1.98736. Greater than 1, so 1. So, this is more than 1, so I have to subtract 1 from that. So, I have 0 0.98736. So, multiplied by 2, I get 1.97472. It is greater than 1. Similar way, I am going to complete the table now. It is 0 0.97472. This is 1.94944 carry is 1 and it is 0.94944 I get this as 1.89888 I get this as 1. Then 0.89888 and I get this as 1.79776. It is greater than 1. So 1. 0.7911776. Multiply by 2. I get 1.59552. That is 1. Then I have 0.59552. That is 1. Multiplied by 2. I get 1.19104 1. Carry is 1. Then I have 0. 0.19104 multiplied by 2. It is 0. 0.38208. Carry is 0. So I have here two parts. The first one is the exponent part. We have already got this. It is 1110 followed by the mantissa part from the table. That is 1001111111. Finally, I have 0. So, this is how we represent it in the floating point format. Let us take the second problem. Second problem is minus 25.267873 this can be represented as 25.267873 is equal to 0.78 into 2 to the power 5 and 5 is the exponent part and this 5 can be represented as 0 1 0 1 now we'll take up the mantissa part and we'll try to develop the table as given earlier so when i do that 0.789621 is going to be 1100101 one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero. But I know that this has to be negative. So I want to represent it as minus 0.789621. That can be done by taking the 2's complement. 
Let me take first one's complement 0011010111. Zero one will add one to this. I get this as zero one 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 zero one zero one one zero zero. So therefore, I can represent minus twenty five point two six seven eight seven three as. Zero one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero one 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 zero. This is how we represent. Discuss the overflow and underflow errors in floating point format. In the second question of tutorial number fifteen, we need to demonstrate overflow and underflow errors. In floating point uh, format. So we'll start with the first one, overflow error. Whenever we add two numbers, if the numbers are too large, then it can lead to overflow errors. We'll consider two cases. The first case. We are going to add two mantissa. Case one, adding two mantissa. You know that mantissa should be between one and minus one. But when we add two mantissa number, the resultant sum, this sum, can be more than one. Or it can result in a sum which is less than minus one, and that cases we can expect the uh, the overflow error. So we'll take one example: zero one 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 zero one one followed by nine zeros. This has to be added with the next number zero one 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 zero one zero 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 zero. Let me add these two number. It is zero 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 one. Zero one, zero one, one, one. Now, we are not interested with the exponential part, but we are interested with the mantissa part, where this is going to be your binary point. And if you see here, this number when I add it up, the Mantissa numbers. This mantissa number has got one here, which indicates that number has turned out to be negative. This is one way of demonstrating the overflow errors. Two positive mantissa numbers resulting in when I add the two positive numbers, it can result in a negative number. Second case B. Case two. Multiplying two numbers. Multiplying two numbers. Cause the addition of their two exponents. For example, if I have x one, it is m one two e one, x two m two two e two. When I write x one into x two, it is m one into m two 
2 to the power e1 plus e2. The two exponents gets added up. When we add the two exponents, it can so happen that overflow can result. So, we will take one number x1 as 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, let us concentrate on only the exponent part and you know that if it gets added up. So, we will add the two exponents. When we add the two exponents, you will get that 1, 1, 1. So it is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, therefore, it turns out to be, if you look at here, it turns out to be negative. 2 positive E1, E2 should give you positive value. But it turns out to be negative. This is an overflow error. We will go to the next one that is underflow. This underflow error occurs when the where number taken is very very small in the number system. So, we will take one example. X1 is 1001, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. x2 is equal to 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 now i want to divide x1 by x2 when i divide it it is m1 2 to the power e1 m2 2 to the power e2 so it is m1 by m2 2 to the power e1 minus e2 so e1 if you look at here e1 is this 1001 0, 0, 1. e2 is 0, 1, 1, 1. So, but I want minus E2. So, therefore, I take 1's complement first, then add 1 to this. So, I get 1, 0, 0, 1. And now, this has to be added to 1, 0, 0, 1 of E1. So, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, you can see that it turns out to be, if you look at here, this turns out to be positive only. But there is an overflow here, the, un the underflow here. So, therefore, underflow problem can be addressed, uh, can be demonstrated using a very small number.